Good morning from McGregor Lake here in Montana. I got some good news and bad news for you. Good news is we were able to make it through the night crashing in the uh, campground host spot without any issue. Bad news is the cell phone service here isn't good enough for our business calls that we have in about two hours. So we're just gonna head on down the line and check all our straps here. All right, that one's good. So there's one thing when you're working from home and run your own businesses, you kind of have to be dependent on the cell phone service. So I kind of view it as we get to do a lot of amazing things. We just need to be within cell phone range. So right now, our uh, tentative plans, keep in mind everything's fluid in our lives, uh, are to go to the Walmart here. I know, not too glamorous. I really don't enjoy staying at Walmarts all that much. I just think they're a great place to stay out of uh, sheer convenience. It just doesn't make sense to pay for an RV park when we have all these errands to run and we need this motorhome to pull the trailer to do them or to go get its tire changed. The other day when I was dumping and filling the tanks on the side of the freeway in Washington, the angle of the motorhome was leaning at that just right angle where I could get a really good look at the tire and the outer edges are worn excessively and I don't think they're safe. So we went ahead and called a tire dealer up here in Kalispell and they have two tires on order for us in case we need two. We're uh, hoping we only need one, but until we measure it, we're gonna order two. And he said, if we don't need two, no big deal. They'll just send them back. There's a movie theater within walking distance, a Panda Express, and Cold Stone Creamery. We can stay for two days. Woohoo! Walmart camping. Well, we took care of that business call uh, that we needed to come to town for. All done with that, and now we can go play for a little while. We are gonna go eat at Panda Express and have some Chinese food. And then the movie theater is just on the other side of that. So we're gonna walk over to the theater and Ben is gonna take one for the team today. He's gonna go see Bridget Jones's baby with me. <laughs> How do you feel about that, Benjamin? Oh, we're in a 50-50 relationship. <laughs> Sorry. <clears throat> yeah, absolutely. Hmm. Anyway, it should be a fun afternoon, and uh, we'll probably pop into Walmart for whatever little items we need afterwards. Oh, that's a Mongolian grill. Ooh. That Ooh. almost sounds better than Panda. Uh, it does. Okay, change of plans. We're gonna go to the Who Hot Mongolian Grill. We love to go to this kind of a place. Mongolian Grill is awesome. You just pick whatever you want and then uh, season it however you like and they cook it on this big giant round hot skillet. finished product. Panda's good, but that is so much better. Now, it's time I take one for the team. I'm Bridget, and this is Jack, and this is Mark. See, Mark is very nervous about all this. It's all new to you, isn't it? Lamb chop.
good afternoon from Kalispell, Montana. I haven't probably heard from us for a couple days here, but we basically just took care of business in Kalispell. Yesterday we took the ATV to the Fast Toys Arctic Cat Dealer here in Kalispell and they were awesome. It took about four hours, but they uh, did our annual service. They also addressed the battery issue that we had and replaced a battery for us um, at what evidently is a very reasonable price. And uh, then we spent the night at the Walmart. It was like the best Walmart we've ever stayed at. There was a movie theater within walking distance, several nice restaurants, a Costco across the street. Uh, the Walmart itself was nice and clean and everybody was friendly and um, had all the stuff we needed. Uh, not that we really needed much, but since we got the new couch, I really had a hankering for a couple of new rugs in the kitchen and, and hallway um, just to spruce things up a little bit. They get worn out with all the traffic in here um, and a couple of other things that we picked up, little stuff. Anyway, had a really fantastic experience in Kalispell. We went to MNC Tires this morning. They were great. Uh, I actually called them on Saturday, let them know we were coming into town and they ordered two tires ahead of time for us and uh, we went in it took about an hour and a half and they had the tires done and back on and ready to go and we only had to replace one uh, so everybody was friendly in Kalispell it's a beautiful town uh, beautiful views around the area very convenient nice little place to stop if you're in this neck of the woods some of you may have seen me post this on Facebook but yesterday I was doing my research and there's a snooty campground in Big Fork that doesn't allow rigs older than 10 years old without prior approval. My response was just as your principal, I don't want to stay with you folks anymore if you want to uh, exclude me. So, or if you want me to uh, submit for your approval. It just doesn't seem right. The weather is calling for uh, one to three inches of uh, wet slushy snow uh, tomorrow night. So there's a chance that our uh, stay here in Montana and the North Country might be cut short. Because also I talked to somebody in the uh, Walmart lot today who was just in Yellowstone a couple days ago. And Yellowstone got a good sized snowfall. So as they say in Game of Thrones, winter is coming. Okay guys, here's our campsite. Uh, we have gotten settled in and now we need to go pay the Iron Ranger. Because you know how uh, overbearing some campground hosts can be. It's a very nice site. I don't know, we might uh, get some wood from our friend and have a fire, picnic bench. I checked the weather and the uh, winds are looking light and variable, so we'll keep the awning out. If you tent camp, there's a nice little pad there. But right now, my mission is to go pay the Iron Ranger. And we opted for a non-resident parks pass for the state of Montana and I think it was about $35 and it gives us $10 a night discount. So this campsite is costing us $14 a night. As we were on our way to Spokane, I said I was feeling it like our trip's beginning. I'm really feeling it now because we have all our errands out of the way and like the couch and the ATV and that tire. I want to be done staying at Walmarts and casinos. The plan is to stay here indefinitely obviously weather's going to be a factor but i'm liking it and we should be able to ride our atv right into town to run errands and to be a little bit more of a resident yeah it definitely feels like our trip is officially beginning it takes a lot of work to do something like this in case i didn't mention it the name of this place is wayfarers state park so it's right pretty much right in big fork they said the uh shower houses are going to get winterized any day now so if we want to do that we should be you know utilizing that one right away nice a campground with recycling we need to remember that three dollars for six minutes and 12 quarters i hope we have enough quarters in our uh laundry bag maybe the wife and i'll have to share a shower if we do share a shower do i go in the women's bathroom with her or does she go in the men's bathroom with me this is what I'm looking for. All right, now that we've taken care of business, I'm going to check out this little trail that's right next to our campsite. 
It says it takes you to the water, but we are probably about 150 feet above the water still. Wow, what do you guys think of this view? Not bad at all. You'd be safe to assume there's gonna be some time lapses taken here. So the plan for the rest of the day is to bust out some more work and our friends are gonna come over for dinner. But this video is coming to an end. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends, and most importantly, enjoy the ride.